<laughs> Hi everyone, it's Julia. Welcome to my channel. So I just wanted to do this quick video. I just got back from the Arcata Farmers Market, the Saturday market. For the first time in months, it's been winter of course, but today's a sunny, beautiful day. And I just had the best time. Um, Bambi waited in the van. Thankfully, I have the screened windows I can open and leave her in the van, even though it was a sunny day. And I walked up there, and there was no band playing, but there was some music playing. It this, like, African, Middle Eastern mix. There was a little blues. This same music I've been listening to um, was playing on loudspeakers, and... So I danced, and it was great, and it was fun, and it was beautiful, and I could get into my tank top even, and the sun was beating down on my shoulders for the first time in so long. And there were children everywhere waving flags, because this lady comes with these colored flags and just creates this, like, fun, playful space. And so I love dancing when there's, like, little babies around and children. It's so fun. So they were there, and everybody was out enjoying the day. And it was just so beautiful. And then I saw a friend I had just met um, named Fire, okay? Um, and a, like an older hippie person, part of the older, the old guard here, which is the hippies, which is sort of different from the new guard. Um, and he was telling me, I was telling him about the music, and he was telling me that it was his friend Tofu who chose that music for today. So here I am talking to someone named Fire about someone named Tofu. This is why I love Arcada. It's not a joke. That's their names. And so then I go see my friend Lightning, sit down with him for a bit. We're chatting. And that's, you know, I realized I'm spending so much time in Eureka. And there's nothing wrong with Eureka, but it, it's not that same, like, hippie cultural center that Arcada is creative center. Actually, Eureka is very creative. Um, I call it the city of murals. But I've been spending so much time in Eureka because my sewing studio is there and now my showers are there at Planet Fitness. So I, I park in Eureka and then once we get all the chores done for the day and the walking of the dog and the shipping and everything, then I'm back at work again in Eureka. So I've been spending so much time in Eureka and, you know, I've been quite sort of depressed and isolated and really bummed about parking in these lots with these parkers that are there non-stop like if I go to there's like six parking spots maybe like five or four now in Eureka and if I go to the one the same people that were there a month ago and six months ago are still there and if I go to this one those people are still there for the most part and it's like pretty depressing with the trash and the junkies and the homeless people and then you know there's not that vibrant like thing going on so I realized you know just being back at the market it's not like that every day, but, you know, there's this feeling here that's so vibrant and happy. I feel like 10 years younger, just being over in Arcata now for a day, going to the market today. So that was all amazing. And then as I was, you know, I was leaving the market today, I noticed another one of the earth flags that we have up on the pole. <laughs> here and how the earth flag's on top and I was doing a little short video I was like we're weird we have an earth flag on our on our pole yay you know and this older lady was watching me next to a van and um she goes you know that earth flag's been up here for a long time and I go I know I told her I was here in the 80s and we had the earth flag on top and I said but then it was down on the bottom when I got back again but then they petitioned to put it back on top. And she goes, you know, that petition failed. The petition didn't go through, but they put it back on top anyway. <laughs> so here in Arcata, not only do we have an earth flag, but when they petitioned to have it put back on top, in other words, the state of California, then the United States, then the earth flag. This is Arcata. You don't even have to fight for the earth flag to go on top. They're going to do it anyway amazing so that was fun to learn um we were talking about the state of the world and it was just really nice to eat to meet an og hippie an old school gangster original gangster see i'm so old i don't even know how to use the term og <laughs> an original gangster hippie 
from the old days. And we're kind of talking about how the the liberal guard now is so different. And there was this missing element. And it was this this connection actually with the earth, with the natural resources, like all of this talk about, as I've talked about in my climate change video, like, you know, this is the one issue we're all focusing on, but what about the disposability issue with all the trash? What about all the toxic chemicals, you know? She's one of the original members of the Rainforest Action Network. I was a member of the Rainforest Action Network. The rainforest meaning the temperate rainforest here, but also the tropical rainforest down there. It was really nice to talk with an old hippie and also fire. And then um, I ended up meeting Tofu today, actually. <laughs> Not just hearing about him and talking with Lightning and connecting with this old school hippie guard. This old hippie thing that's like more connected with the ground, like the root of it somehow. Um, it was really nice to be a part of that today and then meet my new friend, Kathy. Yeah, we were just talking about the state of the world and what's up and what are we doing about it and how we were worried about it and... You know, and I just told her I wanted to bring that earth flag to the people, you know. <laughs> so a beautiful day reminding me that maybe I'm spending too much time in Eureka, not getting over to Arcata enough. And generally, I need to go on some road trips. I'm just, I just need to get out. So that was really nice. I just wanted to share that story with you today. I need to let Bambi out. Arcata is a real jewel. And I'm lucky to be here. So thanks for watching. Please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you want. And I have a Patreon, which includes a lot of my upcycled clothing that I do. So check that out in the description below. Thanks for being here and have a beautiful day.